Oh, hi! It's there. And, um, yeah, welcome back to this interesting series that we have going on here with, uh, just looking at the Vision Pro, or thinking about the Vision Pro, or, uh, there's, I, I can't think of the proper word for when you, when you're, like, for, like, when you're, when you're looking at a product and you don't actually have it. Um, but let's talk about what it would take, and me just watching Apple Pro videos, excuse me. Uh, I, I want to talk about what it would actually take for me to get a, to get the AVP. So let's, uh, go to, well, I, A, and also where my nearest Apple store is, so I can check it out to see if, I, to see what it's like in general. And it's, uh, essentially 50 miles away, uh, more like 30 miles away, and it's in a place where the, the drive, it's a place where the traffic's really bad, so, at all times, because they're morons. But anyway, so we're going to be looking at the Apple site today to see what it would take if we went, if I went from being not an Apple, not, not, not an Apples, or whatever you call the people, who, like an Apple fanboy, or whoever uses a ton of Apple products, in the ecosystem, in the apples, in the apple tree, I guess. See what it takes for me to go from being a bunch of windows and other things to being in the apple tree to make the Vision Pro actually worth me using as... Essentially, we would need to replace all these all these down here with, with, Vision, with Apple's version of that. Which, to be fair, most of these can be used on, can be used on Macs. But I don't think we're, that, that's what we're actually going to be doing. We're also going to be comparing it to... Let's go to Best Buy. Best Buy, Best Buy, Best Buy. We're also going to be comparing it to what will likely be the biggest purchase of the year for me. Uh, and we're going to get... In, no, don't think now. Now we're in the spending phase, mostly. And now we're in the spending phase where we're trying not to spend money. Uh, at least for the next few months we can afford... A few things for the, uh, a few things for the channel and just in general later on this year. Oh, that's the deal that's going on now. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, as you can see, I am I have been looking into getting and all this this about KTVs as well. I've been looking uh, I've been looking about getting an AKTV for oh man, ten years now. As soon as as soon as the first AK t Queens Edward TV came out at one billion gajillion dollars, I've been thinking about getting them because throughout my life I noticed something. It took 4K to become popular way 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 short. 4K to be popular and cheaper took it a lot lot, lot less time than it took than it took 1080p flat screens to become popular and affordable or just 1080p in general. It took 1080p roughly 30 or 40 years to become Antiquated. You go from being extremely brand new to being antiquated. It took 4K roughly 20 years. Or I presume it's going to take 20 years. And 8K, it's going to be like 10. As you can see, 8K TVs are, as you can see, this is literally, this Sony Bravia, the, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, the best TV you can get. At least from uh, like all my examples of the older ones, which date from around 2000 to uh, two, 2010 that I have in my house one one was from my own, one was from an uncle of mine uh, who just gave it to us because he was done with it that was expensive TV back in the day and the other one is my 20 2009 or so 1080p Sony Bravia small one 32 inch and then my 40 something inch uh, Sony Bravia that I got in around 2012 for around five hundred dollars. I don't think we're going to wait that long for AKTVs to come down in that price. As you can see, they are around. They are around. They're all getting down there. It will take roughly like three years for them to get down there at this current rate. If not, if if no giant advancement has been made, and these are mini mini, mini led, which could be which could be the solution to uh, Quest current problem of not uh, OLED not being good enough or cheap enough. And micro OLED is no micro OLED is no. It's too expensive, as you can see in the Quest Pro having it, no other headset having, having it, not even the Beyond, which is a thousand dollar headset. It, to be fair, the Beyond also has um, 
splashes. Now as you can see, the mic, the mini LED, the mini LED is basically LED but mini. And it's probably the best, it's probably the solution for me just in general. Because I do leave my screens on for some time, three days at end, because I like having my wallpapers on. My wallpapers on. Uh, I like having my wallpapers on for sleeping, so yeah. Anyway, so essentially, it, essentially, what I could do, I mean, I, we're, essentially, if I were to get the Vision Pro, which I still don't think I can see the full price of on this website, I, I don't think you can see all the models on the website. You can't without using your uh, without using your iPhone, which they presume you have already. How dare you assume? How dare you assume my my, my iPhone position, Apple? But you can buy it in store. They will scan your face in store. So you can buy it without an iPhone if you go into their store. Which again, the nearest store to me is roughly 30 miles away. And a bad spot. So, no. Uh, although I will want to try it one day. I will want to go there and try it one day. And I do have a solution for that. Another, another reason why I would go there is to go to the Lego store. Which again, is in that same bad spot. I know, unfortunately, the, the Microsoft store is no longer there, but, well, I go there for exactly. Uh, I, went, I went there, I went there when it, or when, when the legal store was open, because I was there already. So, yeah. So, I hope that this comes to our local Best Buy soon. Um, but anyway, so we can look at the AKT, so we can redo this episode again, except for pictures of me wearing the, the Vision Pro looking at an AKTV. I don't think that's possible because they have the headsets. They have the completely locations in the store, but yeah. No, no, like it goes up to five thousand uh, dollars. The Apple Vision Pro does more or less, and I don't think that's including accessories. So yeah, so let's just assume. Let's get out our. Let's get out our little guy. Let's get out our notepad. Which I would have to be missing this on Apple's right now. If I had a Mac. Apple's computer. Apple's PC. Which, isn't it funny that Apple ra raged, against, raged against people calling their Macs PCs? And now they want people to call their tablets and their... And their... And their, um... XR headsets PCs. Like, what? Yeah. And then, and then, this is assuming I want to replace literally everything I have with an Apple product. Which you, you can't because you can't replace your screens with Apple. You can, should you? I mean, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's if I wanted to start over this year, and just uh, start over this year, and and, and to really fully. And to really fully integrate the Apple Vision Pro to my life. What it would take. Like, essentially do as what Apple wants you to do with Apple Vision Pro. What would it take me to do that as a non-Apple person? As someone who's not an Apple tree? Well, we would also need an iPhone. I would get the Pro, of course. Because I have the Ultras. The, the Samsung Ultras. Why would I get anything less than the Pro? Oh, that's only $1,000. Bye, jeez. I guess they say, look, we want the max. Uh, blue titanium is actually not too bad. We'll get the minimum storage. And again, why would you buy an iPhone? You can buy a Samsung Ultra for less money. Especially right now. Especially since I'm on Google Fi. And Google has a phone price, so we're not going to look at that. iPhone. And then these, and then we're looking at Mac. And those would be the base things that we need to look at for, that we need to look at for me to switch to being in the Apple tree. And the Mac. We, I, I 
I'm thinking Mac Studio. I'm thinking Mac Studio. Assuming you can even use Apple Vision Pro as just a monitor replacement. That's like the best feature of Apple Vision Pro, and I have no idea if you can or not. That's crazy. Then now that I think about it, like, have you noticed everyone has been using it with a MacBook? Have you noticed in all those videos, people have been using it with a MacBook, and all those, and all the times they used to have a MacBook, you can only replicate one screen at a time. Just chew on that for a second. Not, I <laughs> Mac Pro. Does he even have the, the Apple Silicon yet? Not even M3, because F you, says Apple. <laughs> okay, at least at least it has at least it has them two. It's literally as powerful as a tablet now. Yay, hooray. I mean, wait, we, no, wait, we can't be generous to Apple because I'm having to literally replace my 6K boss everything with an Apple. It just doesn't have an for either. Wait, is the three out yet or... I don't know if them three's out yet, actually. Or maybe it's just in the MacBooks. Wait, hold on, hold on. Infinite pages. Infinity pages. Make me something. Oh, what? Excuse me, Apples. Why exactly is the M3 not on a year studio? Not on your Pro. Not on your Mac Pro, but why is it on your... Only on your MacBooks? Excuse me? Well, I don't need a laptop. Oh, no. Well, I do need a Mac Pro to replace boss everything. So let's look at oh, the downgrade. I just, excuse me, they just casually downgrade to a more expensive product. Or at least my uh, chip. At least my uh, CPU. To be fair, you can put... To, or at least you used to be able to put graphics cards in these things. Yeah, let's get the equivalent. Let's get the equivalent to my... To my uh, uh, um, to my Ryzen 9. That's enough memory, sure. Whichever by SSD. You can add more, right? Let's, let's say you can't. With wheels, I don't need the wheels where we're going. Well, I do need a trackpad and a mouse. Oh, yes, we would need Final Cut Pro. We would need Logic Pro. That, that did not cost me. I'm using I'm using a several generation old Vegas, by the way. I'm using several generations old Vegas. Like if if I were to boot it up right now, it complain it will complain at me that I don't have the latest version and tell me there's a sale for not that for for cheaper than that. You can get you can get you can get the maxed out version of Vegas for you know, around two hundred dollars flat or at one seventy. If you wait long enough, you can get it. Um, I would need a MacBook too. I mean, not MacBook. I would need. Not, I mean, I, I don't need them. I already have them. But we're switching to the Apple ecosystem here. Oh, it comes with this one in the box. Oh, how generous of Apple's. And the USB-C the Lightning cable. Where does Lightning cable go now? I guess it goes to your iPhone. But why? Ah. Uh, okay. So. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Um. Geez, that's four thousand dollars more expensive than. Boss everything was when it was new, and it was from a custom, and it was from a uh, PC bowler, and it's still a downgrade compared to the MacBook. That's insanity. But I do need this for doing rendering and nonsense. Even if I can't do the the PC gaming, because we're gonna have to do Mac gaming. Mac gaming sucks. We all know that in the modern day. There's a time. There was a time Halo is going to come to the Mac. And Mac was the king of gaming, but no longer. <laughs> Not for a very, very long time. Okay, let me type in this very big number that's causing my head to spin. Yeah, I, I was throwing out in the comments in the last video. Uh, that would cost me 10 k to switch to the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, from my current setup to using the Apple Vision Pro as it was intended. No, no, no. More like 20 k 
It's more like 20. Uh, no, it's more like 13K. Let's be just 14K. 14K. 15. The, 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 geez. What's wrong with Apple? Uh, let's include the sense for giggles. There we go. Okay, let's navigate from this page before it's still my wallet. Uh, we named you Apple Watch. Of course, we're going to go Ultra. No, Ultra Tree. I don't, I don't know what's new with it other than that much. Well, trail Loop, because it's... I love mine. I love my mine on my semi-song. Uh, classic. Which just is not rotating this one, nor is it round. So it doesn't really fit in, uh, so it doesn't really fit in with any outfit? Other than you're an Apple fan, and Apple fans are more recognized as not being nerds as people who wear apparently Samsung watches are more classy. Literally in the name, but anyway, Apple Care. We're not even we're not even looking at Apple Care. Eight hundred dollars. Uh, uh, or eight hundred eight hundred dollars minus one cent or minus one dollar. Okay, these are the core products. I mean. I, I, I don't necessarily I don't necessarily need a Mac Pro because if I if I wanted to just get the Apple Vision Pro I wouldn't need a Mac Pro would I? Nor would I necessarily need an iPhone I don't think. I'm not quite sure if you need an iPhone or not like you do for the like you do for the Quest Three like you need an iPhone or an Android with the Quest Three. Which I don't know why the Quest Three uses uses needs one either. But yeah. But no, we're but no, we're we're going in. We're going into actually no, no, let's yeah, because we're using Apple Vision Pro to our full extent, which means we need an Apple Watch. Uh, we need an app. Let's just put watch because why not? A watch, a watch, a watch. Jeez, that's being brutal. That's being brutal. $700. We don't need a tablet because the Vision Pro is a tablet. They're, yeah, these are. I don't think these exist. I don't think these are what you think they are. Yeah, no, no, the, the, no, they're little fire sticks. Okay, I think we're done for right now. Yeah. Well, they have a vendor benefit, that's good. And also we have our battlefield, my battlefield, uh, my battlefield, uh, presets. Because we're looking at that Bull Vision Pro and he has one. Um, but anyway. Time to do the math. I'm a cheat, because I know you're a cheater. So Apple Vision Pro, I'm assuming we're reading the base one. But seeing as I'm trying at the base, I'm I had the base quest three, which was kind of a stretch on its own. I am trying to, and also the reason why we're doing the freezing spin. One of the many reasons. But the uh, quest three, you can't expand the storage not even with SD cards. Not using FAT32. I'm gonna try to use NTFS to see if it needs that. But I might not need that, and I'm just kind of um. I just need to have less YouTube videos on the man I, I get uh, 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 on the system. I guess it really does suck. It really, really does suck that you can you can just plug in an SD card and just be done. As we type in big number, I'm not gonna type in the fifteen thousand. And, and there, you may be wondering why I have a watch here. Uh, I have a watch here, which is more expensive than my watch, uh, and it doesn't come with much stuff that my, my watch came with. But the reason why I have a watch here is because Apple Vision Pro can work with your Apple, can work with your Apple Watch, or at least will work with your Apple Watch one day. To take full advantage of the Apple Vision Pro, you need an Apple Watch. Sixteen thousand And one hundred ninety, and just under two hundred dollars. Sixteen two sixteen sixteen one hundred ninety five dollars for me 
to get the Apple Vision Pro and use it to the fullest extent. It would be cheaper if I could just get Apple Vision Pro and use it as its own thing, you know, Apple. I would probably actually get one if that was the case. But then again, going all the way back to the beginning of the video, or instead of the Apple Vision Pro, I could just get like the most, the most, the highest, the biggest, the oldest. I could just get an. I I can just get. I, I, why would you pay? Why would you pay 10, 10 grand for an LG? When you can pay seven. When you can pay seven grand for a, a Sony's. Yeah. Why would like why what why would I why would I. Why would I buy, I mean, too, hey, this is too big for my setup. Just barely. Actually, mm, no, actually, no, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine in quotation marks. It's almost too big for my setup. 90 inches is too big for my setup. Yes, I can actually, even, I can actually be a 5 inch TV in my room. I have, I have done the measuring. But, um, yeah, um, why would I, why would I buy an Apple Vision Pro? And all the apples needed to make it run. All the apples in the world. Which it's even not even the best ones either. Oh, uh, which is crazy. Uh, like why Apple? Why why when you release why you release products every year? Why why do you delay the release of the <laughs> silicon? Why Apple? Why? It's literally worse than my setup and I mean yeah for 16k. I could either buy, I could buy more AKTVs that are 80 inches, that are 85 inches. Like, just think of that. I can buy two of them. I don't know why I would need two of them. I don't know why I would need two of these AKTVs. But I could. For the same per, I mean, I, I, although to be fair, to be fair, it is a lot of, a lot of the, a lot of the money is going to that, is going into that, um, computer. But I would just use my Windows. But I can't. You know why? Because it doesn't work. Unless I were to make a Macintosh, which you can't do anymore. Like, does Apple want people to buy their products? Or do they want people who already bought their products to buy their products again? And they're not even funny. They're not even fun colors. Like with the, uh, like with the limited edition, the Nintendo Switches. Like people, want, people love their Nintendo Switches limited editions. People love buying like four of them, <laughs> four of them a year, and Apple wants you to buy an Apple One sets in customer, which could be potentially you, the Apple fan, who may be new to this channel, could be you, the Apple fan. They want you to buy an Apple Pro to go with your to go with your 10K setup, or go with your yeah your 10K setup, the Apple Vision Pro within that within 16K. Like the Apple Vision Pro is supposed to be fitting into the ecosystem. And no one, it, the, the apple tree, it's supposed to fit into the apple tree. It's supposed to be maybe even the trunk of the apple tree, maybe even the leaves of the apple tree, the blossom of the apple flowers, but it's not supposed to go into any other ecosystem. Like, why would I buy this? I have not, no one has made the argument in my comments as to why I should buy this or anyone who's outside the ecosystem. Or anyone, anyone's outside the ecosystem. Why do you buy this outside the ecosystem? You really can't. You can, but it's just a fancy, it's just a fancy TV then. It's just a fancy digital TV, and then, not even a monitor, a fancy digital TV, because a monitor is simply have a Mac, which you probably don't if the only Apple product you have is a Vision Pro. Yes, instead of the Mac, instead of the Mac non, instead of the Mac Pro nonsense, I could get a Mac Studio. But the Mac Studio is literally just the silicon chip, and it's not a, uh, and it's not a, it's not, it's not an M3. So I could just in theory buy a, buy a MacBook, but if I buy a MacBook, then MacBook Pro. How about how expensive are the MacBook Pro? By the way, how expensive are they these days? Oh, okay, that's not bad. Not that bad. But again, uh, let's go max. Just, be, just be generous to the Vision Pro. Oh, uh, you literally see price of the Vision Pro. You got max back book. Yeah, the Vision Pro is not Mac. To be fair, if the Vision Pro was a Mac, and you could upgrade like the Mac, it would be. If the Vision Pro was a Mac, just without a keyboard, maybe throw a keyboard just to please some people, just to please people. Um, 
and it would be like 16, you'd be like 6, 6 k in a ton. Which I would feel is honestly a better deal. If, if, it, if, if the Vision Pro was literally a Mac Pro, a Mac Pro with the M3 Max 16 inch, does everything it does today except works on literally everything, including your N64, like, I mean, would it be worth it then? For would it be worth it to anyone then? Would it be just a good buy then? Yes, it would be at six K. The price is not the issue in this case. It's the issue of just how freaking limited the thing is. It like why when you could just go and buy a Quest three for six for six thousand uh, for six hundred, and it works with all your stuff and more. <laughs> It does more, it not only does it do the Apple Vision thing, but it works with all your stuff and does more than the Apple Vision thing. Like, why would you ever buy the Apple Vision Pro unless you were inside the Apple, the Apple, Apple ecosystem and wanted a better, and want 30% more screen clarity than the Quest 3? Why? 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 It's just not, it's just not, it's just not a smart idea. You might as well, if you want the visual clarity, you might as well buy a Quest 3 and a Vision Pro. I mean, you might as well buy a Quest 3 and an AKTV. It would save you money. Even this big one. Even this, na even this nasty, giant, fantastically, fantastic Bravia. You could just buy that instead of the Vision Pro. You could, and it would work with your current stuff. It would enhance your lifestyle. It would do everything the Vision Pro is supposed to do, and will do if you're in the Apple ecosystem. Well, instead of having to buy every single Apple gadget in the world to take advantage of the Vision Pro, you just buy Quest 3, and you buy a Sony, and you buy a, uh, you buy a Nikkei TV. You can buy 4K if you want. 4K is more expensive now. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. But and also, that's kind of what... I'm, also, I guess let's get into why I want an AKTV this year. Because if and and there is a trigger, there is a trigger. Uh, I want an AKTV this year because I touched the gloriness of 4K with my art, with my art monitor, and I want to be able to face forward when playing video games. I'm sick and tired of facing, looking at 30 degree angle at this display at my first display. And let's see, hi. I, I, I mean, was I wrong? <laughs> you cannot buy an AKTV from Best Buy. You cannot buy an AKTV from Best Buy. Oh, you can't buy an AKTV from Best Buy. That's more expensive than a 4K TV. Oh, that, oh, oh, that, oh, that's nuts. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, that's nuts. Why would you buy a 4K TV now when you can buy an AKTV? If you're looking for a TV at that price range. Like, why wouldn't you? I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't get people who don't like for AKTVs. At the very least, you can use that as a computer monitor. At the very least, you can use that as a computer monitor and have a billion and have eight, ten AP windows up. At the very least, but it's not what it can also do. Like you can play Battlefield in 8K, a bit. It'll be more like 60 hertz, but like you can't really go faster than that anyway. So I really want to. I, I, and also I want to try and make it work. With what I do, and I think it will really boost what I do. Now that I'm really held back by my by my Sony Bravia from 2012, that is only one. That's only one K or two K, I guess. It's only two K. Not really. I'm held back by that, but you know, Apple HD, 1080p, all all those things, all those words. And I'm I'm not really held back by it, but the 8K TV will unlock a lot more. So that's why I'm saving up this year to buy an AK, to buy an AKTV at around a thousand dollars, because you can just do that when there are sales on. And for any day of the week, you can got you can get it for around two two thousand dollars. You can get an AKTV for around two thousand dollars in any day of the week in 2024. So yeah. Also this year, what I'm planning on getting is the 90th anniversary King Lion's Castle, some other Legos. Uh, I'm, 
I am I am somehow getting Legos already that are coming out this year. Which I do have some just over there and in, in a, in a, it, that was thirty minutes? That went by fast. I mean that went by slow. I mean I, I, I thought that'd be more like an hour this video. But anyway, so yeah. Um So yeah, this is the Apple Vision Pro and versus Apple Vision Pro versus AK TV. Or something. I'm not going to show you the title. You'll, you would know it in the. You would know it in the title. You know that you. You already saw the title by now. I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Unless YouTube randomly fed you this video, which it's doing a lot more of that recently for me, which is nice. Thank you, YouTube. But anyway, so yeah, I'm um, like. <sighs> Like, there's nothing, like, I would have to go on my way to make the Apple Vision Pro work for my setup, whereas an TV would enhance my setup from day one. Just set it up, turn it on, it's already enhanced my setup by giving me, by giving me more of the, more of these video wallpapers I have. Um, yes, it will be slower than my current monitor. This current monitor is 180 hertz, so it's going to be slower than my current monitor, but, like, how... That's fine. It's gonna be only be. It's gonna only be seven. It's gonna only be. It's gonna be only sixty hertz slower, which I think I can live with. I can always use this monitor anyway if I want to play a really fast game and don't need the don't need the don't need extra detail. So yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching other videos. Please like me, watch me, watch me. The rest of the stuff in the description below. Let's share this Facebook channel. Let's go to Facebook channel. Watching these videos and engaging content and reproduce it by sharing your friends and family stuff. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in a second.